Hey y'all, it's your girl Brie Michelle. Um, it's been a while since I made a video for YouTube, so I decided to make one today. I may, I'm gonna make a few. Um, and I'm gonna be talking about my experience with Dr. Ortega on this video first. If I'm talking with a slur, it's because I just got braces a week ago. So bear with me. Okay, so Ortega, I got quoted $4,200. Um, and that was for uh, 360 lipo with the BBL put into my butt and my hips. Uh, now, his price have, have, may have went up. Remind you, this was six months ago. So if you're getting quoted different, it could be because of your body fat, what he's gonna do or what special he's running. So if it's not the same price as me, I do apologize, but the prices do go up and down. I contacted him via WhatsApp, which I DM'd him on Instagram, waited for him to respond. And once he responded, he sent me his WhatsApp. I sent him my information, he responded, and that's how I booked. If you're not getting a response from him, then I would move on to the next doctor because a lot of y'all are hitting me up asking me why he's not responding. I did not work with Ortega. I was just a surgery person just like you guys and he responded instantly. If he's not responding, then I would move on to the next doctor, honestly. I wouldn't wait around if you're really trying to get it done instantly. Okay, next question somebody asked me um, about the chamber. The chamber was included in my price. I did the chamber once. I did not like it because I'm claustrophobic. However, they say that it is, is good for you, but you can choose not to use it or to use it. I chose not to. Um, his recovery home. So I'm being told that now if you want to get your massages, he makes you, you have to stay at his recovery home. When I booked, that's not how it went. Remind you, it's been six months, so it's different now. I stay with another recovery house, which I'll make a video about that one later. And he brought my massages to me. So of course he changed it. He may be trying to keep the money in home. That doesn't mean his recovery house isn't good. I just chose not to stay in the recovery house because I fell in love with the, the recovery house lady that I chose to stay with before I even got down there. So it's, he's changing his rules up, but you can always say, I don't want to stay at your recovery house and choose the lady I went to and still have to travel to the massages or add the massages on. And, the, and she has people that offer massages as well. Um, everybody keeps asking me how much did he put in my butt and my hips? How much did he take out? I do not know. When I got to him, I let him use his expertise and tell me how he was going to fix me up. I told him what I didn't like and what I did want. And he made me look good. So I don't, I don't know how much fat I, I can't even tell you. Cause I didn't even ask. I don't, I didn't ask after the fact. I just liked how my body looked. So I just kind of kept it moving. Um, his clinic was very clean and very nice. Um, I don't know the name of it. I just know I went through him and they told me where to go. And the, the lady of the recovery house took me to the clinic. Um, did he check on me after surgery? He did. Um, he reached out to me via Instagram, as well as he um, reached out to me on WhatsApp. When I contacted him about a couple of questions I had, they responded. They respond pretty fast. Typically, I've been here and they've been getting slow, people been getting slower responses. I don't know if this is because it's a lot of people getting surgery or this their slow season and nobody's working. But again, if the person does not respond, I will move on to the next doctor. Um, I wouldn't wait around for one person. Uh, everybody keeps asking me about the price. Your price will be different from mine because of my body type and when I book. So you can't feel like because I paid 4200 that's going to be your quote. Your quote may be way more, maybe less. You have to hit him up and see. You may have different uh, BMI than me. Um, I honestly don't remember my BMI because I honestly didn't keep up with it. But again, your price and my price is going to be different. I do not work for him. Um, I do recommend him, but I'm not a con I don't do consultations for him. Um, I know there's a lot of people going around kind of bashing him. Um, I honestly would not recommend going through a, a person that um, does consultations for him. I would go directly to his people. Um, I don't have nothing negative to say about him. I know he doesn't have any deaths. He was extremely professional. He was sweet. He spoke English and Spanish. Um, he was nice. He actually um, gave me my underarms for free, which I thought was really, really cool. So um, I definitely would recommend him. Um, everybody asked me about the deposit. So he did ask for a deposit via Western Union, and then you bring the remaining balance in cash. You can travel with under $10,000 cash. And when you're going to Columbia with the cash and the police officer stops you, you can tell them it's because you're having surgery. And typically they give you a surgery paperwork to print out and take to the airport with you. 
Everybody asks me, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to have that much cash on me. They're only going to accept cash because people dispute transactions from out the country. So that's not abnormal. That is a normal thing. I traveled with cash on me and I had my card on me for other transactions that I may want to make at the recovery house, food, anything extra I may have needed. Um, and I took it in a fanny pack I got from Amazon. It was a flat fanny pack. And so it could be on me at all times. And I slept with the fanny pack underneath my pillow. And that's how I kept up with the money. Um, but him asking for Western Union, that is correct. And once I sent him the money, Western Union, it took a couple of days for him to respond that he got it, but he did get it. Um, so don't be worried. And honestly, I feel like if you're worried about, oh, they may steal the money. If you have all these doubts, then I wouldn't go. I always feel like you should trust your gut. When I went, I didn't really have a lot of doubts. I kind of had a good head on it and was like, you know, I'm going to think positive about the whole situation. So I honestly feel like if you're going in it with a negative thought, then I wouldn't even recommend a surgery at all for anybody. Because if you think negative, it's, you're, it's not going to come out. Anything positive is not going to come out. But um, again, he was a really, really good doctor. Um, and again, I really, really like my results. Um, if I ever went back a second time, I would definitely go to him. Uh, I know after surgery, he recommended extra massages. So I kind of got, I think I got a total of 30 massages after the 12 that he offered me there. And you do need the massages and you need them instantly. You don't need to wait five months to get the massages. Um, I do the massages at my, at my spa in Atlanta. And a lot of my clients come after five months, which makes no sense because you need to get them instantly if you want to see your results instantly. And you're swollen early on. So I definitely re recommend getting them instantly. Okay, let me see if I got any more questions people have been asking me. Hold on. Um, and I also found him um, researching other people that went to him, um, YouTube, um, Real Self. Um, and I just asked a lot of questions. I followed him. I followed a recovery um, review page about uh, surgeons and um, recovery houses. And that's how I found him. Um, and again, he spoke really good English. You know, everybody's worried. Oh, my God, are they going to speak English? He speaks English. As long as the person taking the fat out, putting it in and doing that speaks English, that's all you worry about. Some of his nurses didn't, but I didn't really have much to say to them. Um, his anesthesiologist spoke English and he spoke English. So that's all that really mattered to me because those are the two important people when you're about to get your surgery. Um, again, if he's not responding, I would hit him up via Instagram on a direct message, wait for him to respond, and then I would go on his website. His website is in Spanish, but the WhatsApp number is in English and I would WhatsApp them and tell them you wanna book a surgery or you want to get a quote um, now I do know if you're telling them you want to get surgery for next year August you're they're not gonna respond to you as quickly because they're gonna respond to the people that's trying to book in the next three months or less than three months and that's just how it goes with any anybody's business so if you're trying to book him next year then I wouldn't even hit him up for a quote yet I will wait until around that time that you're interested in going going to him And I did end up seeing his recovery home. It was really, really nice because I went there to see him um, after surgery, but I did not stay there. Um, so I can't say if I recommend it or not, but I'm sure, I mean, I would read the reviews. If you can look up his recovery home and I would read the reviews and answer any of the questions that they have. But I did meet a few of the nurses and they were nice to me when I was there as a guest. Um, okay, and that's it about Dr. Ortega. Um, let me see if I can give you guys his Instagram because everybody, some people are saying they can't find his Instagram. So I'm going to look real quick on this other phone I'm on. Because his Instagram is kind of hard to find. Okay, I found it. Let's see if you guys can see this. Oh, can y'all see that? This is his Instagram. I'm going to read it out. It's D-F... Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's D-R-F-E-R-N-A-N-D Ortega, which is O-R-T-E-G-A. So it's Dr. Fernando Ortega. And his page is open. And then if you actually scroll down on his page, I'll show you guys because I don't mind. I'm actually on his page. I am this picture. It says May 29th. 
That's me. All day. Okay, so stay tuned for the next video I'm going to make because it's going to be about the recovery house I stayed in.